Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with Richie Schley, Hall of Fame mountain bike free rider. How is it going down those cliffs, man? Uh, well, the moment you creep over the edge, you definitely give yourself a, uh, is this a good idea? But then once <laughs> you're in, it's awesome. Anyways, Richie uh, has started to need a little bit of a prescription correction. Um, he's been riding for like 25, 30 years, something like that. And uh, I've been selling prescription sunglasses for 20 something years. Um, between us, we're gonna hear, we're here to help you pick out the right pair of prescription mountain bike eyewear. So these are some of our personal pairs and some of our favorite pairs. So this is like our best picks for prescription mountain biking eyewear. And I'm also just gonna go over kind of a few topics, a few things to kind of keep up for. We also have a full video on like how to pick out the right pair of mountain biking glasses, like what's the right autonomy, anatomy actually of a pair of mountain biking glasses. So you can check out that video. But we'll kind of go through some of that stuff while we're doing this. Um, my prescription correction's a little bit more for distance and Richie kind of needs more for reading. So between the two of us, we're kind of covered here. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with my favorite pair of prescription mountain biking glasses that I currently own. This is the Oakley Cross Range XL with Prism uh, Trail, which actually comes in prescription, which is really cool. So this is the authentic Prism Trail in my RX. What I love about this Cross Range is that it doesn't look so sporty. Um, you can wear it kind of every day, kind of has more of a everyday lifestyle look and feel, but it's super durable, has rubberized nose bridge here. These things, glasses don't slide around. They actually come with uh, two different temple styles, one a little sportier, one a little bit dressier. I actually wear the slightly dressier one because of this matte finish. They stay on really, really well. And uh, that prism trail is kind of something else. Yeah. Um, the next Oakley is the Jaw Breaker. I actually wear this one in prescription with the clear lens. What I don't love right now is that the Jaw Breaker in prescription doesn't come with prism which is a little bit of a bummer. But um, if, you're, if you're needing some dedicated night riding glasses, this is my go-to pair. This kind of embedded lens technology looks pretty high tech, maybe a little. Pretty, if yeah. any of you are the right age, like remember Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Yeah, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a thing. Um, I don't mind it, especially for night riding, but why I picked this one is um, how much protection it's giving me. It's almost, I kind of feel, it's almost like elbow pads, like it's like another layer of protection. So um, almost like armor and then they're slightly vented. So I'm getting a little bit of airflow. Um, but then I'm gonna go to our number one seller. This is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. So this is just almost a one size fits most. Yeah. Uh, sporty looking, but not overly sporty. It's got the dual lens, so you have a lot of prescription options. You can get prism trail in there along with other prism lenses. Um, you can do even lined bifocals, progressive, transitions. It's just such a universal pair and a lot of protection. Feel great, they're light. They feel like they're completely stuck to my head, like it's awesome. Yeah, they got a lot of unobtainium. Unobtainium is the uh, material that Oakley uses for grip, so that's like this rubberized material. And the hotter you get and the more you sweat, the stickier and tackier they get. So they're kind of yeah. become like um, self-aware almost, they're like AI. <laughs> like when you need them to get uh, stickier, AI. they do. Um, so that was a lot of Oakleys, but that's the, that's the Oakley collection that we have. And we're gonna jump into some 100%. So this is the 100% centric. And I love this frame. Um, we have an optician here, Tyler, who can't get enough of selling that frame. That thing is awesome. Feels so good. it has a really fun, kind of funky uh, lifestyle look to it, yeah. but it has rubberized nose, which is something you really want in sport Great glasses. Coverage. Rubberized temple, even though it's a flatter frame and it can hold a really high prescription, still has a lot of coverage and some wrap to it. So, yeah. um, and they just look cool. I just love the design on those. So, I have to get a look in the mirror later. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. the 100% centric. Maybe you'll go home with those. Uh, <laughs> and then we got another 100% that's a newer one. This is the Days, and it's just a little bit more wrapped and has kind of this little oh, extra yeah. thick side right there for some more protection. How's the peripheral? Oh, this one's awesome. It feels yeah. like it's a total wraparound, but yet with a cool look. Yeah, yeah, that clear frame color is really cool too. Yeah, I like it. That's the Days from 100%. They're made in Italy, super high quality, lots of grip. And they're just kind of a little funky, kind of a little fun. I'm kind of yeah, liking. they're fun, but not uh, obnoxious. Yeah, I'm digging the 100% vibe. They, they uh, have some really cool frames that are not so RXable, like the Speedcraft. Um, 
but for their RX collection, this thing is pretty amazing. Uh, next, we're gonna go to Tafosi. What I love about Tafosi is value. For the price, you get unbelievable bang for the buck. Uh, this is the Veloce. This is our best selling Tafosi, and that's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put on the Elder. I actually own a pair of these. This is uh, a little bit bigger. Um, really good coverage, lightweight, interchangeable, vented on the front, uh, on the lens. So, and when you get them in prescription, we can keep that vent, which oh, is pretty cool. cool. Yeah. So our, uh, our techs are techie enough to, uh, be able to tech that out. That was, techie, nice. techie. that was a lot of, I actually, like, I actually really like techie trails. Your TNT, I'm more of a dynamite. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a tech guy than a flow guy, but. Rich is trying to teach me how to jump. It's not going so well. It looks like it has a nice adjustable yeah, nose Yeah, adjustable nose well. pads as well and slightly adjustable temples too. You can play with them a little bit. Um, they're not like super okay. flexible, but you can get them down in and out a little bit, which is really cool. And the prices on the frames are unbelievable and you can do a lot of prescription options on them. So that's the Tafosi Veloce, a little bit more of a medium-ish fit. And if you need a big boy, this is the uh, Elder. So really like that. And then we're gonna go to, I think this might be your new favorite frame. Which yeah, is, that's pretty cool. That's the- I don't uh, know, that 100% clear frame is pretty cool, but this one's awesome. That's, that's the uh, Torino from Roca. Yeah, so cool. Roca, um, more known in the road world and the tri world, but really making a push in mountain biking stuff. And I think they really hit the mark on that one. It's got a funky, yeah. fun, cool, Look, I could see if you're the button-up plaid shirt mountain biker wearing those. You yeah, know, yeah that, and you could wear these to the beach look. and they yeah. wouldn't think you're a uh, kook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, okay. they're really cool. They've done a great job of the, their styling. Uh, that one's got the Gecko Temple Grip. That's their material. And this thing is like an award-winning material. They do not, like they are, when they're on, they're on. Like these are not going anywhere. I don't care what you're descending on. They're, they don't move. They just really stay in place. So. Uh, and a lot of RX options again. And if you are somebody who needs a bifocal or a progressive, which can get kind of tricky in mountain biking, there's some pros and cons for sure. Um, but this is a good choice because the lens is so deep, we can put that reading power pretty low so it's out of your way as much as possible. It's kind of a trick we've been playing on, on Richie lately. Um, so that's a great option. By the way, if you are, obviously you probably need prescription mountain biking glasses if you're watching this video. We have opticians, ABO certified licensed opticians at SporterX. A lot of us ride. We really uh, try and understand the sport and the demands and the needs. And if you're not sure what you need in the video, is probably helpful, but you still want to dial it in a little bit more, you're super welcome to call us. We have opticians here seven days a week. They'd love to talk with you and like get your prescription, ask you where you ride, what conditions you ride in. Do you, do you night ride sometimes? Do you not? What's your biggest issues? And we'll fine tune the perfect pair of glasses, custom make them and send them to you. And if you don't like them, you can send them back on us. Like it's free returns. We'll remake them once. If you still don't like them after the remake, we'll pay for another return label and give you all your money back, even on the prescription lenses. So it's kind of risk-free. Anyways, I'm a salesman. I had to plug that in. <laughs> the next one here is the um, Tempo from Smith, and this is a new one, and I really like this one. And I actually love that tortoise shell frame. Yeah, it's that kind of something that people really aren't cool. doing in yeah. sports glasses, so I think it's kind of fun. Yeah. These are great too. And that's got the chroma pop high contrast lens, so and it's a really rim, good lens. You, never, yeah. you have an infinite kind of down vision, you know, or yeah. what do you call it? Your field of vision. Yeah, that's no, downward. It's, it's not blocking your field yeah. of vision. Yeah, they're very comfortable too. I like them. I like that frame. That's the Tempo from Smith. We're gonna to jump to another one that uh, Richie really likes is the Jobo Renegade. Yeah, this one's great. Another one where if you're off the bike, you, you still can wear them. They look good. And they come with a photochromatic yeah, lens. Yeah, that's right? got a photochromatic lens on it. So that one goes from a category one, which is pretty light, uh, to a category three, which is pretty dark. Um, that's actually a really good topic. If photochromatic lenses are really popular in prescription mountain biking eyewear. It, to be honest, obviously not a cheap sport to begin with. Eyewears already can be expensive. Prescription eyewear obviously is gonna cost more with all the customization involved. What's really cool with photochromatic or transition lenses is one pair of glasses can work really well in so many different conditions. Uh, and we do have some really cool specific mountain bike prescription photochromatic lens options that 
that we formulated that kind of go from like an amber to a brown so they would really work really well on a sunny day on like an open fire road or they would work really well on an overcast day in some canopy so um if you're gonna if you're gonna have them in prescription you might as well have one pair be as versatile as possible so the photochromatic really helps with that and you can even get photochromatic and progressives or transitions so um, it's it's a good thing to talk about if you're actually interested in prescription. And can you do a, a lens that, that changes from light to dark in most of these? In all of these, yeah. Uh, probably except for this one with the embedded, but everything else does have a transition or photochromatic oh, awesome. option, yeah. Um, cool. The Prism Trail is such a good lens that it, it, it almost feels like it's photochromatic because it's got this technology that kind of lets in the right amount of light when you need it to. Um, but that one's not photochromatic, but um, like we can do a lot of really cool photochromatic options in these. Cool. Um, the next one is the POC Duflo, which is your favorite name because you do flow. These are my glasses. Those are actually are your glasses. glasses so with they have your, a yeah. slight uh, bifocal reader in there, which if you can see the line, I don't know if you can, it's not. It's mirrored, so it's probably pretty yeah. hard. I can see it because I'm a trained optician. And but it's there. great, I can look down, as, as Rob says, it's that ah moment where I look down at my Apple Watch and I go, oh, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, he, he needs that. So at I a certain that. age, um, a lot of times the distance prescription is the issue, but then you also might have a reading issue or some people are lucky enough that they have no distance issue and then once they hit 40 something years old, um, the reading starts to get kind of harder and harder. So we do have some solutions, which is pretty and, cool. And not to make it like I, I'm so addicted to my phone that that's why I need riding I, glasses. I've hung out with you before. <laughs> but it is uh, partially like it's, for me, it's getting to the point where if I'm trying to work on my bike yeah. and there's a small bolt, it's very hard to hone in on that. But with these, no, it's perfect. I think a lot of people uh, fixing a flat, a yeah. small mechanical, yeah. or even making sure you're grabbing the caffeinated versus non-caffeinated gel <laughs> in your back. Like you can't see it without that and that just kind of becomes true. a reality. So um, it's really nice. We, we talk to a lot of people about if they want their progressive or bifocal and sport glasses. And they're like, well, I'm not gonna be reading. And I'm like, I get you're not reading like a magazine when you're mountain biking, yeah. but how many things are closer than three feet that you need totally. to deal with? And it's kind of a lot. I mean, if you're- so Maps. Not that you're adjusting your suspension all the time, but I'm at the point where I look down and I can't see what's locked out, what's not, what's more yeah. um, rebound or not, and this is solves that solution, that solves that problem. Speaking of which, maybe after this you can help me fix my <laughs> rebound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Might need some help. All right, the next pair, which I think might be the last pair, is the Nike Bandit and Fleet. So these are the same glasses. Uh, the Bandit is the bigger size. That's what I wear, and these are my prescription with photochromatic lenses. And those are Richie's with his bifocal kind of hidden at the bottom. I think that was the first kind of test pair we yep. we custom made for you. Yep. And they're photochromatic, so right now they're both pretty light, yep. and they'll both get pretty dark in the sun. So depending on they'll get more like this. They'll right? almost get that dark, yeah, with the kind of fun mirrors and coatings and kind of customized stuff we do. They get pretty dark. What I love about the Bandit is the. Um, nose bridge has a, a ventilation it's kind of open here helps get some airflow going and also the frame i don't know if you could see this has some micro venting right inside the frame which is super cool uh, very lightweight and another one where i think off the bike they don't look so sporty or or me i'm not a cross-country guy by any means i'm by no means the fastest guy on the trail i usually have the biggest smile and that's really all i'm after is just you're having, a winner then yeah having the most fun and i just kind of feel like this pair suits my kind of more relaxed approach to mountain biking like i don't have all that much time between work and family when i get out there i'm just like i want to work out i want to have some fun and this kind of says that to me a little bit more chill. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. So those are some really good options for prescription mountain bike glasses. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, we would love to help you answer them. You can leave a comment down in the comment section. We'll get back to you. You can email info at sportrx.com and we'll reply to your email. Or like I said, you can call us and speak to an optician. They're, they're friendly, they're knowledgeable, they're trained, and they want to help. Hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. We'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Speaking of subscribing to channels, Richie's got a really cool YouTube video. He's building it up right now. Some really cool content out there. Some really cool 3D 
160 degree Rilo camera action, which yeah. is pretty sweet. And also his uh, Instagram is pretty hot. So uh, we'll have uh, down in the description link things there for you if you want to check it out.